with today's session. Welcome you guys to uh, uh, Ansible topic. And uh, so on the screen, uh, we have this typical structure of uh, stating the inventory as such. So in here in square, square brackets, DB server, web server, app server, these are different groups that are inside the inventory. And uh, inside each inventory, we have specified uh, a particular server name. So that's the way the inventories are uh, you know, uh, declared. And there are two types of inventories, static inventory and dynamic inventory. Static would be the typical one which uh, we specify manually. Okay, So we write a inventory file and uh, that inventory file has this syntax in it. Okay, And uh, so while we run the uh, Ansible command, something like this, which is shown in here, uh, 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 the, the cursor is actually at the command. Okay, so this particular command Ansible hyphen i uh, hc host hyphen m ping db server. Okay, this particular command is actually going to look at the hosts file located at hc Ansible's, and inside hosts file we have this particular information. Okay, and then it's going to use the uh, ping module ping module of Ansible and run that ping module on the group named as DB server. So if we look in here, DB server group has one particular server in it. Okay. So Ansible will run this particular ping module against this particular server in the DB server group. Okay. That's the plain way of uh, running ad hoc commands. There are other ways also uh, and uh, those are called uh, playbooks and uh, we write the playbooks wherein uh, we specify uh, what commands, what are the tasks to be run against the servers and uh, those uh, tasks are categorized uh, with these uh, you know group names. Okay? So we'll look at how we run that and uh, how we can control the target nodes. Okay? The other type of inventory is a dynamic inventory. And uh, for that, uh, say a dynamic inventory could be an example uh, where we have say around uh, you know multiple servers, okay, say around uh, thousand or hundreds of servers in our environment. And if we want to update that uh, inventory on a uh, continuous basis, so there are chances like we. Uh, pull out some servers or add some servers to our server farm or server uh, you know, group. And in such cases, uh, the inventory for Ansible has to be updated. Uh, if it is a static type of inventory, we'll have to keep on updating manually. And there, this activity of updation can be, uh, would have to be done on a daily basis, depending on how frequently those changes happen. But uh, to avoid that manual updates, uh, we have a way to update the inventory dynamically also. And for that, uh, Ansible provides uh, certain uh, Python scripts. Okay, In case of uh, if we have servers located on uh, Amazon uh, Web Service Cloud or say Google or Azure or and so on. So each these individual cloud service providers also uh, provide Python scripts which are usable inside Ansible. Okay, so in this case of AWS, we have a ec2.py file uh, which is provided by AWS, and if we use this file, we can create dynamic inventory. Okay, for uh, our Ansible environment. Okay? So that's the way uh, the inventories are maintained. Thank you.